Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License, my stream on Thursdays, usually, except when crazy stuff happens on Thursdays and you have to move it to Friday. Oh, hey Thumper, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't get to stream last night. We got some crazy news. Um, I can't give too many details, but I'll mention it to you guys. Uh, when we kind of get into the game a little bit about what happened and why we had to move the stream. Hey, Jane! You're surviving, allegedly. Well, you're surviving enough to type in the chat. <laughs> so that's good. That's something. Um, <laughs> that's definitely, that's definitely something. <laughs> I feel that, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Life is crazy. Life is crazy. But you know what? It's Friday, and we're about to start our weekend. About to start our weekend. And we're still going to have um, interstage window tomorrow, so all of that's going to be good. Surviving is hard. That's true, Kenda. Surviving is hard. Surviving is very hard. All right. All right. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll do interstage window. I need to do the mini announcement for that so y'all can see the topic. Maybe I'll tell y'all at the end of the stream today what the topic is so that you guys can know. Remind me. Remind me and I'll tell y'all that. Um, all right. So yesterday's episode of Spare Room. Well, day before yesterday's episode of Spare Room, I guess this time. <laughs> Uh, how to know you've joined a bad group. So in this one, we talk about finding the right group. Um, so it's a companion video to that, to that finding the right group video. So this is kind of the opposite of that. <gasps> hey, Katie. Oh my gosh. So glad you're here. Oh, you got, you got the dragon and the unicorn. Girl, <laughs> you're tricked out. Your name looks so good like that. <laughs> you're halfway to cupcake. Okay. I believe in you. I believe in you and your cupcake goals. <laughs> um, so this video is about the finding the right group, but from like the other perspective of like, you found a group and it doesn't feel like it's right. What do you do? So we talk about five whys analysis, whether you should try to salvage the situation in that group versus leave. And if you do want to leave, how to leave gracefully. Hey, Lunar. So happy to have you here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I was thinking like I moved this stream and people aren't going to show up, <laughs> but y'all are here. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy for that. I'm so happy for that. I got a really interesting comment on this video uh, from Nikki, who is probably not here right now, but I just want to add a little addendum to this video based on this comment. Let me go find it. Let me go find it. She had left something really insightful, and I was like, ooh, he's right. I need to add to this. Okay, so she says, for leaving gracefully, I was an admin. I do like it when a player messages me to let me know why that is, but there's definitely a way to do that. Rather than I'm leaving because this place is trash and I feel X, Y, Z ways about it, giving something constructive can really benefit the server and help them grow. Maybe you're leaving because it's just not a vibe and that's fine, but maybe it's because it's too restrictive. Maybe there was a lot of confusion and not enough clarity. Maybe you felt left out because then I, as the owner, can either offer a way to help or at a minimum be alerted to something that I didn't see as a problem before to then minimize the issues of future for other players. But absolutely the whole public statement, I'm leaving because this is not right for me and all these reasons, tends to mess with the chat flow. It can stir up drama and I can leave the place with a bad taste for you in the future because it very much does look like an attention grab. So yeah, I totally agree. Like if somebody feels the need to detail like why they're leaving or make some kind of announcement about it, I would definitely prefer if it is like a DM to me or one of the other admins than a public message to everybody, you know, for those reasons. Like it just... It just never goes well because it's like, okay, now we all say bye to this person and then they leave and it's like, okay, let's get back to the topic we were talking about. It's just always awkward afterwards. Yeah, exactly, Kendra. The public statement is so awkward. And that's how I usually feel like when somebody's giving it. And I know they have good intentions. Their intention is like to not ghost or to give constructive feedback or whatever. And like, I know they have pure intentions, but it always feels so awkward. And I think they don't realize it feels awkward because they're not there after they click the leave button and everyone, all of a sudden it's like a switch flips and everyone's back to whatever they were talking about before. You know what I mean? So they don't really know that that's what's happening. So I think they don't see, see it the way that I see it where it's so awkward. Yeah, Mochi, very, very true. Jane, did you link the video in the chat? Did you do that for me? Let me see this. 
I see. You so did. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, if you guys missed that video and you want to go go take a watch of it um, before we get too tucked into Final Fantasy, you're welcome to do that. It's not super long, so you could definitely meet the stream and go watch it if you want to and then come back. <clears throat> when admins complain in the general chat about people just dipping. Yeah, we do get a lot of those complaints, and that's what was kind of why I put that in this video, Kendra. It was because... I see people in the uh, cafe asking for help about how people just bail and they don't tell me why. And it's like, my friend, you don't probably don't want to know why. <laughs> and do you really want them to like make some kind of statement that's like, I'm leaving, bye, everyone say bye to me at in this place that I'm never coming back to. Like, it's weird. It's weird. It's not like leaving a party where you're going to see these people tomorrow. You know, it's weird. Yeah, not every group for, is for every player, and that's totally okay. I agree. Like, you should be evaluating if the group is good for you, not in general, which I'm... Obviously, the title and thumbnail don't say that in the video because i got to get people to click, but that's the point, right? Like, that's the point of the video. It's whether it's good for you. Because even the most garbage group is... You, some people are going to like it, you know? At least the admins like it, I hope. I hope at least admins like their own game that they make. <laughs> There's nothing worse than investing time in creating IC relationships than finding out it's bad. Yeah, it really does suck. It really, really does suck when that happens. I'm definitely a proponent of like, once you realize that that's what's happened, you cut your losses and don't get into a sunk cost fallacy personally. But I know some people, they, they don't want to do that. And so I do sympathize with people. They want to work it out. And I think sometimes there is room to work it out. Didn't realize how bad my previous RP group was because it was all I knew. And now I'm in Karen's group like, oh my god, I wish I knew this sooner. <laughs> Katie, I'm so sorry I've poisoned you now. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of people say that, to be honest. And then they'll even find, like, we've had this situation sometimes happen where they'll start to have issues with the way that we run our groups, which is fine. It's not for everybody. And we've definitely had situations where people, like, go off and join other groups. And then they come back. <laughs> And then they come back, like, never mind, just kidding. <laughs> I like this group. <laughs> Kendra, yes. <laughs> um, so, you know, that is what it is. No hard feelings either way, by the way. If anybody's listening that's in my group and you don't feel like it's working out for you, that is okay. You can leave. It doesn't change whether I will be nice to you or potentially be friends with you or any of that. Those feelings are all totally separate to being in the group. I can't even, even never leaving nice try. Jane keeps trying to leave. She keeps getting like busy with like life. What even is that? Who does that? I don't know. Jane keeps thinking that she's doing that. And then she comes back. <laughs> that was one time. <laughs> one time Jane had a life. One time. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. That's what I had to say about that video. Let's get into Final Fantasy. Let's get into some Final Fantasy. All right, we got definitely some boss fights coming up, so Kendra, get ready for some Smasher Pass. Let's see. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear the... I feel like you can't hear the noise. Yeah, there's no noise. Hang on. What's happening? I think I have to quit the game. Hang on, guys. Yeah, because I reloaded the game before I connected my headphones. Rookie mistake. Here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> You'll never see like the opening screen, the few opening screens, because I always open it early. We're going to skip past this because it just plays a scene that you've already seen. There we go. Now we have sound. Now we have sound. Okie dokie. All right. You all remember we were here. We got the little primer from here. Talk to Awaka. Is there anything over here? Yeah, we can't go over here. Okay. Not me chatting while trying to decorate an Animal Crossing. Kendra, you just want me to play Animal Crossing again. I get it. Wait. I get it. <laughs> it is here. Somewhere. What's here? Something you should see. But, Sir Oren. It won't take long.
What does he have to show us? Welcome back, Thumper. If you didn't miss anything, don't worry. Well, Kendra, how about this? How about you get Animal Crossing streaming, and then maybe I'll stream it with you or something? Because I think that's what's holding me back a lot. A lot of times I'm streaming now and focused on that, and then I feel like I don't have time for Animal Crossing because I can't stream it, which this I know place. is silly logic, but that's what happened. It's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. It absorbs and preserves people's memories. What's that? Fiends are also attracted to these places. Okay, boss fight! This is called Seferimorth or something like that. I'm not sure how you say his name. <laughs> but uh, but here's what we're gonna do. He's very easy to beat. You just whack him, and then he's gonna elemental shift. Oh wait, no! When you whack him, oh I think it's because Titus has water. Okay okay, we're not gonna use Titus for this. So when you whack him, yeah yeah yeah. Okay, and then we gotta get Lulu out here. And since he's water, I think what I have to do is use the opposite thunder. Pretty sure that's how it works. Bonnie streams Animal Crossing? Oh, I might have to reach out to them. Okay, so this is how we beat it. Alright, so we're gonna do... We get haste on the Lulu. Yeah, I set up that Discord back when um, Animal Crossing first came out, and I played that hardcore for like three or four months, and then I said, I'm done with Animal Crossing. <laughs> but the server's still up, and y'all are still welcome to use it, of course, and invite as many people as you want. Alright, let's get Riku to steal. I still gotta make sure that everybody gets a turn. Alright. Mari. Blizzard. Then we're gonna use Aya! Yuna hasn't gone yet. Let's get... Oh, but we need to whack him again before that. Come here, Waka. Whack him. Water. When you walk past your bedroom and it's all empty? What? <laughs> I haven't been using it, though. Y'all have been using it, but not me. I totally abandoned you. I set it up and then said bye. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. I miss Animal Crossing sometimes too. But the thing is, like the way that I play games, it feels almost like a commitment sometimes. I don't know if that makes any sense. But like I wanna when I'm playing it, like I wanna play every day. Like I get really obsessed with it and into it. And it just eats up way too much time for me. I think that's why I played it like so hardcore for those months and then was like, okay, I'm over this. Bye. Yeah, Mochi understands what I'm saying. Let's steal again. See if we can steal anything else. It says no. Hey, Bree, how's it going? Get water. Get Lulu back out here. <clears throat> Thunder. Brain. It cracks me up when you call Bree Brain Jane. <laughs> cracks me up. Oh, rude. 
Okay. Come on, Lulu. Don't die on me. Brain and not brain. Do I know? I don't know what element. Oh, I don't know. Let's... Let's whack it. Okay, water. Water is the element. Alright. Get back in here, Lulu. It's thunder. Gotta be dead soon. There we go. And that's how you beat this guy. Just whack it so you know the element, and then you use the opposite one from Lulu. She's amazing. It's going swell. How are you? Much better today. Much better today. Yesterday was kind of crazy. But today has been good. I'll tell y'all after the cutscene. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Checked. Left it here ten years ago. <gasps> play it back. Mm -hmm. We get to see Jack from Jack's point of view. What are you taking? Well, you said it was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Ugh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. <laughs> Young Orin is so sassy. He's like, let me tell What's you. The point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Hey, if you're sitting there watching this, it means you're stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you better not be crying. Although I guess I'd understand, but you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Wow. Oh, Jack. Anyways, I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. Uh. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jack had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jack T. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkin. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us, and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve, it 
happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. Look at Walker and Riku dancing. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Got Orin's overdrive. Yeah. Kendra, there is no escape from Yandere Hans. Wait. Sorry. Yeah? Jekt loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. No one, Katie. People don't do games like Final Fantasy anymore. The game is awesome. Yeah, so some of the news that I got yesterday basically was that Jeff was not doing a lot better, like we had been told that he was, and some information was being withheld from us. Um, that all got sorted out today. We got the information. Jeff is doing better. All of these things, so like... It's fine. I don't want to go into, like, details because it's not my business. It's Jeff's business. So I'm not going to put that on the internet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, but suffice it to say, yesterday was, was rough hearing that. So that's why I couldn't stream yesterday. Why it was, like, too much for me. We're just going to flee. Um, but, no uh, but yeah. Today has been much be so better. Next time. Things are good to go. You know, we're still hoping to hear from Jeff soon and all that good stuff. Hi there. Would you look at this? They always leave me behind. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There. Good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? I see you doing Chocobo Breeder, Glasgow. Yeah, thank you, Mochi, and thank you, Thumper. Um, really appreciate the good energy. You know, if you're praying, people appreciate prayers, good vibes, anything right now, because, you know, there's still lots of recovery left for him to do. So, um, any of that, I will gladly accept and um, appreciate it. Yeah, I think so, too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. All right, Clasco. How's your plague experience been going? Oh, thank you for asking, Thumper. Um. Cause that ring to take it. He'll be rich by tomorrow, all on account of this celebration thing. Hmm. What? You buying something from me? Well, I'm gonna look, Oaka. I don't know. Great. <laughs> I knew I could count. Um. I have been having some symptoms. I assume if you're sick yourself, you wouldn't stream. Well, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I mean, I guess it depends on how sick I am. Um, but I'm doing good today. I actually did have some symptoms. I had some Friday night, and then I had some again on, like, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, I think it was. But the symptom I really had, it was just fatigue. I had really awful fatigue, y'all. Like, and that was the only symptom, so it felt really weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't know I had COVID, I would think that, like, I was just, I don't know, PMSing really bad, or like maybe a pregnancy scare or something, you know? <laughs> like, it was like that. Like, it was just, it was just fatigue and nothing else. So it's really strange. I can definitely understand how people get COVID and they don't think it's a big deal or they don't believe they have it or, you know, they don't do anything about it or take care of themselves because there really was like no other symptoms. 
no other symptoms at all. Had fever, fatigue, and loss of taste. Oh my god, that sucks, Lunar. I didn't even have that. I had no fever the entire time. No fever. I had um, no no loss of taste or smell. Um, nothing. Nothing like that. It was literally just fatigue. Really bad fatigue. And that was it. It's crazy. At some point I'm going to sell all this stuff again at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Let's... And I think that the we're going to buy some potions too, but the ones inside the travel agency are cheaper, I'm pretty sure. Beans, hello, how's it going? Yeah, not ideal, not ideal. But it could have been worse. Like, it it really... Even though I was frustrated, because I can't stand being tired. I can't stand being tired and not being able to do anything. Um, It really wasn't that bad, is the truth. For me. I've heard Lady Yuna is to wed Maester Seymour. It is great news. I'd like to congratulate her. But it is a pity. I'd hoped Lady Yuna would defeat Sin and bring the calm to spare her. Yuna's still gonna journey, even after she's married. Ah, that is also great news. Her resolve is admirable. That's right. Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. Oh, Riku. Yuna's really quiet. Oh, boy. Seriously? You know what's Wedding's happening. not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? No, it's Come not. On, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Okay, Walker. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. <laughs> yeah, spirit is willing. Flesh, filthy traitor to the cause. Yeah. Um, I decided, though, that I had to, during that time, uh, I couldn't do anything, right? Like, I was just so tired I couldn't do anything. So I um, watched some Netflix, and I knew I couldn't watch anything that required, like, too much concentration. So I watched this, like, pirate show that they were advertising. It was, like, sort of a documentary, but it had a lot of dramatization. It was good. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but... It's being advertised like crazy, so if you open Netflix, Netflix, you'll see it. Why stop here? Good question, Kamari. Let's go find out. Oh, thank you so much, Kendra. It didn't do... Oh, it did! <gasps> Yay! It did count it. Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'll try and remember. That's right. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that, Kendra. You know you don't have to do that, but, you know, I love you for it, too. Okay, let's heal up with the save sphere. I think I talked to everybody. Yes? Okay. We can go back out. Thank Daddy Joe for the stimmy. Thanks, Daddy Joe. Appreciate that stimmy money. <laughs> and thank you for the hydrate. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I did that to a couple um, streamers that, that I watched the other day, too, when I got Stimmy money. <laughs> I was like, I gave out a couple subs. <laughs> been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Time to go get married. Well? We must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. Okay, Mr. Medusa. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. That was your line. Oh. Yuna! Yes, sir! 
Oh, the whistle. Oh no. Open. Uh oh. Another boss battle. We have a lot of them this episode. Stand back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love seeing the emojis pop up. <laughs> Lady Yuna. We're gonna have some more soon. We should be getting some the rest of them on Sunday. Okay, next boss battle, Crawler and Negotiator. What? Translation? He's gonna use an anti-magic field on us! Rude. We can almost read the Albed, though we've unlocked so much of it. Yeah, we're gonna get some more. Um, on Sunday, I think, is when the artist is gonna be done with them. And that means, so next Thursday we should have a whole bunch more to play with. Okay, Negotiator disables all magic and summoning. I know, I know how this battle works. Okay. <laughs> we are going to use everybody's overdrives, at least. There we go. Mutual aid. <laughs> well, thank you, Kendra. All right, she's kind of useless right now. Let's get everybody else's overdrives in. Let's use... He doesn't have anything with lightning. Um, two fire breath. Get an orange overdrive. We're gonna use his new one. Hopefully, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, smash or pass Zamboni. Oh, it, is, it looks kind of like a Zamboni. <laughs> well, there's two different ones. I'm a, I'm attacking the crawler, but that little thingy up in the corner. This corner is negotiator. Oh my gosh, thank you for the sub, Miss Katie. Oh, Katie, you're the best. You know, you didn't have to do that, too. Seven months in advance? Holy crap. Is that what that says? Katie, you really didn't have to do that. Oh my god, thank you so much. Wow, okay. What was I doing? Oh yeah, we're about to do... <laughs> we're about to do his overdrive. Okay, here we go. There we go. It was a deal. Oh, we'll get that deal. All right, let's see. Who else could we do? He's like elemental. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's use his overdrive. Probably can't hit the lightning. Yeah, I never do. I never can like time which one I get. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is um Twitch is pretty good with prompting you like that, making you feel like you need to do it, right? <laughs> uh, okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix I should have I have Electro Marbles? Is that the one I want or do I want lightning marbles? I can't remember. I think I want Electro Marbles. No, 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 no. It's lightning marble. It's lightning marble. There we go. This mix is OP. Oh, they gave you some time free with some of it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so since I killed the negotiator, now we can use um, magic and aeons and things like that. So. Thanks, Riku. Okay, but it's also going to mana beam me, so we're going to try to kill it. So, come on, Lulu, give us your fury. Circle technique! Go, 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 go! Never get very high on that, I feel like. <laughs> Can't wait to get that deal when my gift sub is over this month, even though I'm already planning on resubscribing anyway. Oh my gosh, y'all are too sweet. You know you really don't have to do all that, but I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> 
I'm glad y'all like um, like the emojis and stuff, so I feel like you're kind of like, you know, getting something from it. <laughs> uh, do I want to use her summon now? You know what? No, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it. Okay. We're going to just regular summon cuddles. Regular summon cuddles. We'll use a grand summon later. Let's see if this kills it. I'm not really sure if it will, but I think it might. We get you from it there, Karen. Aww. That's so sweet. Alright, let's arrow spark. And then I guess if it does mana beam, Cuddles will eat it for us. I can see the chat replay better on the Twitch VOD. What does that mean, Kendra? Oh, when you watch the VODs back, watch them on Twitch instead of on YouTube. Yes, that is definitely a big benefit to doing the subscriptions on mine. Because I feel like if y'all are paying for it, y'all should get to watch the VOD wherever you want, you know what I mean? Which for ESW makes it so much easier to see what's up. Okay, yes. I do agree with that. Definitely that is true. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay, let's try to... Look at 9,000. Power break in. See if that helps. Oh, it's immune. Rude. We talked to the chat. Yeah, you know... Now that I, it's so funny, it's so funny that you say that, because now that I stream, I've actually gotten really picky with what streamers I'll watch. <laughs> this is going to sound kind of bad, but like, for real, if a streamer is too big to where they really kind of can't talk to the chat, because, you know, some streamers, they're, they're huge, and the chat's just like, you know, like, going up like crazy, and I can't watch those streamers anymore, y'all, because I'm like, why are they responding to anybody? <laughs> <laughs> and I know why, it's because the chat's going way too fast and it's like impossible. But in my brain, I'm still like, I don't know, I'm expecting it. So I've gotten to where, like, I really just want to watch small streamers, you know, that'll actually respond to people. And that's like basically how I feel. This thing hits like a truck. Oh, well, Jane, that is what I'm trying to do. It's my whole purpose in life. It's the reason why we stream, you know, to affirm you. <laughs> and yet that thing's back. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Let's go to Waka. He doesn't have that much HP left. I really don't want that mana beam again. I don't think I want to bother doing the gap, doing the um, getting the negotiator on. All right, let's switch you out for Kinkari. Gosh, this damage is so low compared to Lulu. He's a boss. I do think it's easier if I just attack, attack. I know you're immune to the stone. Okay. You don't want to get stoned. I understand. I understand. Kendra, did you say whether you smash or pass on the on the Zamboni? I think I'm definitely a pass. Um, the other mechanical thing was, was way better. The last one, Albed thingy that we fought, was definitely way better. This is just, this just looks painful. Come on in, Yuna. Give me some heals. Oh, wait. She can't do white magic. That's right. Uh, Riku. Do we have... I don't think she has any of that thing yet. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't. But we could do... They're all, like, dying. <laughs> Alright. Let's high potion. Who's lowest? Waka. Go. Oh, 
annoying. We have chicken party. Gotta be dead soon. Pushing herself. Maybe I'll use another Electro Marble on it or something. I don't know. I feel like it's taking forever to kill this thing. I don't like it. Okay, use is what I meant. Die already. Gosh. Riku's like, ouch noise. <laughs> Cracks me up. She's like, just, ow! <laughs> Let's switch back to Orin here. At least we stole a lot of electric... Electro marbles and lightning marbles while we were in the... Thunder Plains. You can do the high potions, Paka. Y'all are just not doing the damage for me right now. If I would have done the grand summon on the Aeon, this would have gone faster, but I want to use it later. Finally did. Goodbye, evil Zamboni. See you later. Milady. Riku. Efendan Aistra guardian of Yuna, Rika? Yuna kva? Fafem kindran, krak kva? Tu drekje moha kegan. What? <laughs> I told him I was a guardian. Well, I guess I had to, really. How come you speak out bed? <laughs> uh, well, uh... Just stop, Titus. I'm out bed, and that was my brother. You knew? Mm. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me? We knew you'd be upset. This is great. I can't believe I've been traveling with an outbed a heathen. Stop you it, Waka. We have nothing against Yevon. But you outbed used to forbid him Machina. You know what that means? Sin was <coughs> because people use Machina. Yes. You got proof? Show me proof. It's in Yevon's teaching. Oh, not that you know. That's not good enough. Yevon says this. Yevon says that. Can't you think for yourself? Well, then you tell me. Where did sin come from, huh? I... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you badmouth Yevon, and that's all you can come up with. But... That doesn't mean you should do whatever they say without thinking. Nothing will ever change that way. Nothing has to change. You want Sin to keep coming back? There might be a way to stop it, you know. Sin will be gone once we atone for our past mistakes. When? How? If we keep faith in Yevon's teachings, it will be gone one day. Why do I even bother? Riku. Hmm? Will this move? Yes! We're not using that, are we? Wait. Wanna bet? So Auron is an outbet too, is he? <laughs> Come on, Waka. <laughs> Not Auron, but <laughs> I mean getting angry just because you found out Riku's an outbet. You guys got along fine till now, didn't you? That's different. I mean Well, I don't claim to know that much about Spira. And I probably know even less about the Albed, but I know Riku's a good person. She's just Riku. Lu? Just think of this as an opportunity to learn more about the Albed. 
Let him go. Give him time to think. I'm sorry. You've done nothing to apologize for. That's right. All, right. Let's ride. All you did was exist, you sure you Riku. Know drive this? Better than Kamari does. Oh, we're getting the Riku scene. There's different scenes here. I'll show y'all all of them, but we'll watch the one we got first. Sorry about Waka. Uh, <laughs> he didn't have to be so mean, yeah? I almost cried. Uh, Riku? Just kidding. It's okay. At least you're still nice. Hey, do I look like Uni, you think? Huh? Well, my dad's sister is Uni's mother. You get it? Hmm. Ah, I had no idea. If you say so. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess you're guarding your family then. Yuna's not the only one that I want to protect. Huh? We all bet want to protect all of the summoners, you know? Summoners are... Well, you could say that... They sacrifice themselves too well to bring happiness to Spira. What do you mean? Oh. Riku? Yes? Sacrifice themselves? You know, the pilgrimage. It, uh, takes a lot out of you. Oh, right. But you know, Yuna's real serious about being a summoner. For Yuna, well, the pilgrimage kind of means everything to her. You are going to help her, too. Aren't you, Riku? Mm. So you shouldn't say that Yuna's sacrificing herself. Uh, Riku? I hope you're right. That was ominous. Alright, I'm gonna pause this and turn down the sound because I want to show y'all the other um, scenes that you can get there too. Because you can get different writing scenes depending on that secret um, system that I told you guys about with the friendship. We're going to watch some of the other ones too. Make sure y'all can see it. Okay. So. Bit. All right, we'll just put it right there. Let's ride! You sure you know how to drive? We already saw that. Better. I hope that you're not too mad at Waka. This hey, is not at all! Get. <sighs> Thank you. Say, what do you think of Riku? Me? She's... Fun to be with. <laughs> that all? Well, I can tell she's not a bad person. Yeah. You know what the problem is? She's just another Albed to Waka. Waka's head is as hard as a rock. I bet it's because of Yevon, or you know, something like that. Well, there's more to it than that. Hmm? Waka doesn't like the Albed because of his brother, Chaku. Oh! He used a Machina weapon, right? And got killed by Sin. Killed by my old man. Damn you, Jack. What? No, nothing! <laughs> hey! Can someone like a human become Sin ever? I can't say that I know. But why? Just a thought. Sin is the punishment for, and the incarnation of crimes we have committed. Uh, so no one really knows what it is. There's no need to know, so no one asks. You run or you fight. That is really all you can do. There's no sense brooding over it. What, that's all? I mean, you don't even wonder? You really do come from a world where there is no sin, like you say.
He is Eliza. He's Link in your heart. All right, we're gonna skip this one because we just watched that in my playthrough. But you know, Rico. Girls go off together. Here is the Orin one. You're no fun to ride with at all. What? I'll take Kamari over you any day. <laughs> Just don't do anything rash. What's that mean? I'm saying you should not complicate matters. Or you'll find yourself trapped. Understand? I don't need you to tell me that. I guess there's some sense in what you're saying. Make mistakes. Huh? That's what youth is for, after all. Do not waste it. So which is it? So confusing, Orin. What do you think about Riku being in our bed? Ronso are followers of Yevon. Ronso dislike our bed. Oh. I get it. Not Kimari. Our bed are our bed. Riku is Riku. Riku swore to protect Yuna. And Riku is not a liar. Kimari can tell. So, she is a friend. You know, you might want to tell her that later. I think she needs to know that we still want her with us. Kimari is surprised. Why? Kimari think you are kind. Uh, don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> That's one of the few scenes that you really get to, like, talk to Kimari. So I wanted to show that. All right. There we go. Now it's not doubled anymore. Ruin his rep. I know, right? <laughs> so you can get all of those scenes. It just gives you the one, whoever you have the highest affection with at that time. I guess I had highest affection with Riku. Most people will have highest affection with um, Lulu, and they'll get the Lulu scene. Mega Potion! Alright, let's head into the temple. Hello. Oh, thank you for the 400 gil, sir. Don't know what you said, though. Mermaids do fly. That's right, they fly through the water. This place is kind of watery, isn't it? This is under the Lake Makalania. You can kind of see it down there. All that water. So we're suspended in this little area. Halt! The likes of her are not welcome in this hallowed place. She is a guardian. A, an all bed? A guardian? Preposterous! I've decided to be Yuna's guardian now. And that's all I want. Tell him we can. And that's all one needs to be a guardian. Very well. Okay, Waka, stop and pray. Even though all this weird stuff just happened. <laughs> ah, Lady Yuna's guardians. I haven't thanked you for your help earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to bring Lady Yuna here safely. You oh. have my sincerest gratitude. Oh, you're welcome. It, it isn't much, but I want you to have this. Oh, thank you. Ah, there you are. So, Lady Yuna is getting married. <laughs> you should kid around about these things. You know what? I was being hopeful, Shalinda. Yeah, I guess so. You're not happy? Nah, it's complicated. <laughs> Facebook status, Say, um, it's complicated. <laughs> do you know where Yuna is? I believe... 
She's gone to the Cloister of Trials with Maester Seymour. You see all those beautiful, like, cherry blossom lamps in this temple? I love this one. It's my favorite. Like, visually, it's so beautiful. I will be traveling north to tell the people there the wonderful news. Okay. Is there a chest over here? No. Lord Jisco! What? A sphere in Lady Yuna's belongings. What? This may well answer a few questions. It's that sphere that definitely wasn't going to come back into the plot. <laughs> what I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Quado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed, even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. Whoa. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the Summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon. Killed by my own son. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this... I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop, my son. Hmm. Everybody got a bad dad in this game. I just got a Wonderful. bad dad, Yuna got a bad dad, Seymour got a bad know, dad. <laughs> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester. Uh, fine. Stay here if you want. Yeah, Waka. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening. It's happening, friend. Give me that chest. Give me that treasure. Lord Diskel, how horrifying. I shall pretend I did not witness that. This does not bode well. Please be careful. Oh, thank you for the high potion. I can't believe what the sphere has shown. There must be some mistake. I shall keep the sphere safe here and return it to Lady Yuna. Probably a smart idea. Sphere's definitely not fake, though, my friend. Nice wishful thinking. Why would the lady have such a thing? Good question. <laughs> Ronso, he. <laughs> the hell will hear about this. Oh wow, dude, take the stick out. Let us add joy to the wedding by contributing our song. Hey, this place is just like mine. It's damp and cold and makes me sleepy. We're the life of the party. It's our job to be happy and merry. Join us. Kind of too late for that. Oh my gosh, Awaka. Timing, timing. Do we have anything worth a dang? Let's see. No, not really. Oh, I hear Lady Yuna is still going to continue her journey, huh? That's true. I wonder if that means she and Maester Seymour will fight sin together. Well, that is a good question. That is a good question there, Owaka. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Thumper. Alright, more people in here. Uh, I've been protecting Maester Seymour since he was a wee lad. Ask me anything. You want to know about Maester Seymour? Ooh, lore dump, lore dump. Okay, Seymour is a young child. Both Guado and human blood flows through Maester Seymour's veins. This mixed heritage caused him a deal of grief in his childhood. But because of that very experience, he grew to become a great leader who aspired to bring Guado and humans together in friendship. 
Lord Braska vanquished Sin when Lord Seymour was about your age. Oh. During the celebration of the Calm's arrival, Maester Micah ordained Lord Jiskel a Maester of Yevon. He praised Lord Jiskel's achievements, including the conversion of the Guado to the teachings of Yevon. Maester Seymour was still a young lad then, but he tried hard to assist Lord Jiskel. As a monk, Maester Seymour soon distinguished himself. His accomplishments were many and acclaimed by all. He shot up through the ranks quickly, he did. Aye, he rose up on his own, never riding Lord Jiskel's coattails. He's truly a remarkable young man. As a summoner, Maester Seymour's strength is matchless. Yet he became a Maester of Yevon instead of undertaking the pilgrimage to battle Sin. I think he believes that there's more to a summoner's duty than just destroying Sin. Alright, interesting. It takes so much. Katie, I just want to make sure it goes to people who have been here for a while, you know what I mean? What the heck is- he's playing his drum belly. <laughs> I can't believe Seymour's getting married, it's certainly something to celebrate. Please give this congratulatory gift to Lady Yuna. Of course. With rank set aside like this, I believe everyone is behaving a little too wildly. Probably. I thought I heard a scream. I know we're celebrating Maester Seymour's marriage, but it mustn't get out of hand. Oh, <laughs> there are leftovers here from the banquet. Go ahead, take them with you, lad. An ether. Okay. Hear that chest? Oh, nice phoenix stones. Come here, kid. What you got to say? Maester Seymour always smells so nice. Isn't he grand? Did you see my cousin outside? We're always competing with each other. Funny. Such a fine day to celebrate. The monk should let loose today. Yeah, he's a drummer. He's a drummer in the band. Alright, so we talked to everybody. Let's go up here. Kimari's up ahead. Go. Right. We will protect Yuna from anyone. Even a maester. <laughs> uh, this can't be happening. Poor Waka. If he is truly at fault, it must be done. Poor Waka getting thrown into an existential and spiritual crisis. The entire world is falling down around him. You'll hear that music. Seymour's music. Uh oh. Talk to anybody? Nope. Seymour! Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. I got a bad feeling. Make me! Sphere. You killed him. What of it? <laughs> Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... <sighs> I came to stop you. <sighs> I see. You came to punish me, then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The code of the guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. Maester Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. 
I will fight you too. Tell him, Yuna. All right. Maester Seymour. So be it. <clears throat> yeah, Katie, that's on purpose. In the Japanese one, his voice is like total, like stereotypical Bashonen voice. That's what he's supposed to be like. <laughs> All right. Let's do the talking. You may be a maester, but I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. So creepy. Get little stat bonuses for this, so of course I want to do it. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. That's right. You got the villain music. Oh. My sincerest apologies. Seymour! <laughs> so sassy. Alright. Let's get Riku in here. We are going to heal so that they cannot heal themselves. Let's draw up Titus. Yeah, he is a smooth talker. That's the problem. Can't trust him. Can't trust him at all. <laughs> yeah, I think you- I mean, you're supposed to. I'm pretty sure with him. Like, that's the point. Alright. I mean, as far as we know right now, Yuna's kind of considering it, you know? Alright, let's do the talking. Maester, we must stop this. Ah, this can't be happening. You don't want to talk to you, Waka. Alright. Um let's do get Yuna back in here. Start casting. Our nulls. And start getting our hastes up. <laughs> Mash. Even with the claw hands. The claw hands weird me out a little bit, like, I'm not gonna lie. And I make fun of the furry belly, but that's really not that weird. But the claw hands, they're kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> it is very Edward Scissorhands, that's true. Alright, let's do the silence attack on these guys. And right, got all of our nails up. Oh, he remedied it. Rude. All right. Let's see. Paste him. Get some other people in here so that they can do their attacks. Get <laughs> Orin. There we go. Just regular attack so he can get him smashed. This is another fight that can be kind of difficult if you don't really know much about the game or what you're doing. They're in there, do an attack. Alright.
But if you steal from these guys first, they're much better. If you don't do that stealing that I did at the beginning, then what can end up happening is they will just heal themselves up and it's really annoying. And then the way he's casting this magic, it just goes around in a circle. There we go, now they are gone. Okay. Luna, come revive. Okay. Let's get Orin back in here because I want to do magic break. Um, there we go. Magic break him. It's interesting that Seymour's not immune to that, but he's not. Let's get Titus back in here for more haste. Yeah. And Luna to get everybody nulled back up. So because he just used Blizzard, I know next he's going to use Thunder. So I can do Null Shock. So then that won't hit me. Did I haste everybody? Yeah, everybody's hasted. Okay. Sweet. We can just attack. Hey, okay. Does magic breaking twice do anything? I can't remember. Makes me excited for the new Dragon Age randomly. I've been waiting, that's my fave. I never really got into the Dragon Age games, but like they're so popular, you know? But I've never actually played a one. You know, I've watched like Let's Plays of them and watched streamers do them and watched like my husband play those games, but I've never played them personally. Let's see. Did Orin have. Put Null Blaze and Null Shock on Orin? Okay. But he's still, we still need to do Null Tide. Pain. Oh, Come, anima. never mind, it's anima time. <clears throat> this is his Aeon. We saw it before when we were in the, um, at the end of the tournament, in the Blitzball tournament in Luka. Now we get to fight it. This is why I saved, this is why I saved you this, a uh, Grand Summon. That's right, the new Aeon. Lend me strength. Hell yeah. But first, actually, we're gonna steal. <gasps> As I think... I want to say Anima has something worth stealing. Yeah, silence grenades. There's something else. I can't remember. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's time to summon kisses. I love this Aeon. Look at her! Definitely a fave. Yeah. So, smash or pass? If anybody says pass, you are lying. <laughs> you are lying if you would pass on Shiva. Oh, look at that. Do that 999 damage. Or 9999 damage. So now y'all know what the limit is. We can break that later, but right now it caps you. The damage caps at 9999 in this part of the game. That hair, that butt. <laughs> what? Hey, Coke. Coke's meowing. It doesn't like me to pick it up, though. So I don't know how I can show you Coke. Hey, Coke. 
If she hops up here, I'll show you guys. One of our kittens. Here, let me see this. Let me see if I can sneak real quick. Get her. Here we go. Doesn't like this, but here's Coke, guys. Say hi, Coke. Hey, Coke. I hate this right now. Why are you holding me? You're so cute. Oh, okay. And she runs away. She's gone. <laughs> That's one of those kittens that we um brought in, guys. That's Coke, the sweeter one, the one that actually asks for attention kind of often. <laughs> I'm gonna try to kill Anima before it does that big attack. It really hurts if it does that big attack. Yeah, Coke's adorable, right? He's the best. Okay, we got 5,000 more. Get some big guns. Come on, Orin. Hey, Moisty, how's it going? Lulu, some big guns. Your hair is looking glorious. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I've been growing it out. Um, My husband actually asked me the other day if I was liking it and I should keep it because this length looked really good. I think I need like a trim for the ends to get them nice and healthy looking. But I'm liking it. Yes. Got Anima before it did the big stupid attack that like destroys you. Like it'll kill you. It can kill your party. That big that attack that it does. Defeated Anima. It will be mine. You say so, Seymour, but I doubt it. Alright, so he has 6,000 HP left. And... Oh good, Luna's, Luna's gonna get a turn. We'll switch her out for Yuna. They got all their nulls up. Everybody's got nulls? Orin only has three. What's he missing? Got Null Blaze, Null Shock, and Null Frost. Okay, missing Null Tide. There we go. Now Seymour cannot hurt us. I'm glad to hear you're doing good, Moisty. <clears throat> We're doing pretty good today here, too. I was telling everybody that um, my COVID symptoms have been really, really minimal. We've been doing, we've been very lucky and doing really good with it. I just had fatigue some days. And today's technically my last day of like the 10 days that they give you. From your quarantine so it's good as of tomorrow i can leave the house i can go out into the world again if i so choose <laughs> so that'll be nice not that i leave the house much anyway there we go i see more i see more do you never Pity me now? What happened here? What, what... What have I done? Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all! Seymour struck first, he's the bad guy! You, you did this? <gasps> and that's why you spill the beans like that. Send him. No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! Finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. 
Let's get out of here. That's how this. That's some simple ideas there, my friend. Let me do our sphere grid. All right, so. As asked, oh gosh, I don't know, several episodes in it ago now. <laughs> uh, we are going to name Diva Kisses. I think it was Thumper that wanted that name. And I said we had the perfect Aeon for it coming up. And this is her. This is her. This is Kisses. All right, let's do our spirit grade, y'all. We've been neglecting it. So, Seymour is definitely a bad guy, as we all suspected. <gasps> oh, was it Kendra? Kendra, did you want kisses? You suggested snuggles. Oh, okay. Well, now we have kisses and snuggles. We are going to get one more main story Aeon, but it's going to be a while before we get them. And then there's a bunch of optional ones that we can get later on. Kendra, do you want kisses? <laughs> I think she does. I think that's what she's trying to tell us. She's probably distracted by um, Eliza right now, so. <laughs> and Yandere Hans. We still have to, you guys might think that since we just went straight in, we don't have to do the Cloister of Trials for here. But guess what? We're still about to do it. As soon as we do the Sphere Grid, we'll go through that puzzle. And do all of that good stuff. He has so many blank spheres in his... So weird. I feel like it kind of gimps him later on. What's next? Hickey's hugs? <laughs> what do we have? We have um, cuddles, kisses. I can't remember. What did we name? What did we name Ifrit? I can't remember. I'll have to look in a second. I know we didn't give Valifor a name. That was like really early on. And we hadn't come up with names yet, so he's just default named Valifor. Poor booby bird. <laughs> he doesn't get a special name. <laughs> Alright. Dark attack. The Kamari's gonna get a lot of the stuff that Waka gets. That's gonna be really nice. So he'll have a lot of that stuff, but he has piercing on his weapons. That'll make him very much more useful, I think. Mari can become kind of useless depending on how you build him up in this game. A lot of people take him down Riku's path, but you can only you can do that, but like right before you get that far, you pretty much already have Riku, so it's kind of useless. I like to take him down some other paths, so we're doing Waka's path this time. I've done it different, differently each time. You gotta go walk up here. What's that ability up there? Silence Buster. So that'll be nice. Okay. Alright. Did that. Seal everybody up. He doesn't like hugs though. Everybody likes hugs. What did we name him? Snuggles. It's Snuggles, Cuddles, and Kisses. Snuggles, Cuddles, and Kisses.
All right. Into the cloister. Oh. Give me a break. And now we have to do the puzzle. <laughs> I remember when I was first playing this game, when it first came out, and I got so lost on this puzzle, and it was so confusing. Um, but of course, now I've played the game a gajillion times. So, <laughs> now I know how to do it. So, here we go. Take this sphere, and you put it in this guy. And then we push. And then we're going to push again. Get it to go down the, the ramp. Because it takes, it takes certain repetitions. You have to do certain things like over and over. And that's why it's confusing. All right. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to take this out, I think. No, not this one. I do take here. There we go. Like I, it's not a glyph sphere I put in there. It's a Macalonia sphere. Oh my gosh, eleven! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid, Erica. I really appreciate it. How was um Stellaris or however you say that game? That you were playing with the the space thingy that you do, where you go conquer space. Something about praise the shroud. Okay, we can do that. We can praise the shroud. I'm for it. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna reveal that part. You said Stolaris correctly. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. And I need to get the other Makalania sphere. Praise the Shroud. Praise the Shroud, sure. I don't know what that means, but we can do it. I believe in the Shroud. <laughs> okay, and I think I take this one. And I put it here. This right? It's a Stellaris reference. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. All right, we go back up. Shroud of Turin. What's that? I don't know that reference either, Thumper. And this goes here. Okay, and you can get out of here at this point, but I still want, of course, to get the um the treasure there's a few more steps that we're gonna do and this is where it gets confusing that wasn't too bad oh warhammer 40k oh okay i see i see take this sphere then push Oh, I get it, Thumper. I understand. That. Um, it's clicking. It's clicking the references. What y'all are talking about. And why they would have that. Alright. <clears throat> then... No, 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 no. I need to make the ramp happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that first. 
I have to put the ice so that when I push it, it doesn't slide off. We're on the verge of a religious war in Stellaris. Hopefully next week we'll win it. <laughs> oh, I believe in you, Erica. I believe in you. Your religion will conquer. Right. Then I have to make the ramp happen. I'd like to see how crushed Erica gets. <laughs> She's not gonna get crushed. She's gonna win. She's gonna win, and her religion is gonna become powerful, and everyone's going to worship her gods. That's how it's gonna go down. I believe in you. Right. Yeah, dark insanity is rude. There we go, now we got the treasure. But we broke the bridge in the process, so now we have to go rebuild the bridge. That's why this particular puzzle is kind of annoying if you don't, you haven't done it 50 times like I have. But we got a Lux Sphere, okay. <laughs> Shun the non believer. Done! <laughs> All right. Enter. X. I'm gonna take a Makalania sphere down here, I think. One there. Okay, here's how we'll do it. Get the one from the middle. Would light and love the true Alfian way. That's right. You did, Erica? You named it Alfian? Or Alfheim? So you're spreading Alfism. That's wonderful. Okay, well now I definitely know that you're going to win. There wasn't, it's not like there was doubt before, but now I'm like super sure. It's your, it's my mega church. Oh, is that one of the factions? One of the ways that you can do it? Like a mega church faction? I need to play this game. It looks really fun. I've watched you play it a couple times now. Um, I know it was mostly lurking, but I was sort of watching there for a little bit. Bef it was like right before dinner time for me. Um, and I had the same thoughts I had last time. Like, it looks really fun, but it also looks like really super complicated and hard to learn. So I sort of wonder, like, do I actually think this game would be fun? Or do I just think it's fun to watch Erica play it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's on Humble Bundle right now. Oh, okay, okay. I might check that out. All right, and freedom! Freedom! We're free! Please. Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we Oh, no. Did. Wait, wait! Jiskel's sphere! We can show it to them! Yeah. This? Hey! <gasps> the Guado take care of Guado affairs. Oh no! Wait. Run! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run! No time to stop and shop, Awaka! We gotta run, run, run! They're chasing us! Oh wow, you can teleport too? That's rude, Awaka. Lulu can teleport, but only in that one scene. We find out Awaka can teleport. Why don't we have teleport magic we can access? Oh shit, those Guado are fast. 
<laughs> I'm trying to run it no spoilers so you guys can experiencing it experience it. So I appreciate I appreciate you liking my effort, Thumper. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's get Riku in here to steal. You should play this again. I love this game. This is my favorite Final Fantasy, like, by far. It's amazing. You can't run away from these guys, though. Like, you can try to run and escape them, but it's not possible. They will catch up with you, and you will have to fight a few of them. Now, if you just sit there and don't run, I think they'll actually, like, just keep on coming. But, um, but yeah, you cannot actually fully escape them. They're guaranteed to catch you at least twice, yeah. Pretty much. No matter what you do, you cannot run, you cannot hide. The Guado will catch you. Bye. See you later. And there's the other one that's gonna catch up. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. You can make it, Titus. You can make it. You gotta run through this little gauntlet, but then there's monsters on this one. Good, Mochi, you're supposed to forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be like you're experiencing it with me, you know? This is one of those games that, like, I love it so much that often I wish that I had not played it before and I could experience it for the first time again. Like, it's that good. That's how I feel about it. All right, go make something yummy, Erica. <laughs> All right, Waka needs to go. It's cool experiencing it for me playing it there like as a watcher. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Brie, I know you had shared that with me that you really liked this game as well and had played through it. I've definitely watched some Let's Plays of it too. Although I don't think I've watched too many people stream it a lot. I mean, I've watched a couple people stream it, but it's like random episodes you know, that they've done. I don't, I've not watched anyone do like a complete, excuse me, um, stream playthrough, but I have watched like several people do full let's plays and like watch the whole game. You know what? I didn't really have time to play it, but like I wanted to experience and put on a let's play in the background or something like that. I've done that before. All right, take them out. I love how this is one of the few spots in the game where you'll notice we don't have the regular battle music. It just keeps the same music from the area that we're in. There's a couple spots in the game where that happens. This is one of them. And I just think it's a really nice touch. It makes this whole area feel like way important. Like, wow, something really crazy is happening right now. Because at this point, we, I mean, I know how to beat the boss. I made it look pretty easy, but <laughs> we just did one of one of the bosses that for a lot of people, it's like the first one that they encounter that's really difficult for them. So if you're feeling like feeling that adrenaline really tense, like, oh my gosh, I just fought Seymour. And he was really hard. And then the music just stays the same throughout the battles. I think that's an awesome touch here. Anima is best people. I agree. Man, Anima is badass. Love Anima. This is like the coolest summon. For real. Thank you for the hydrate, Bree.
Yeah, Anima has the coolest overdrive. I killed it before they got to see the overdrive. I can't remember when y'all raided, if you saw me fight my Anima or not. Um, I killed it before the overdrive, but um, I will show it off later at some point in the game. Just didn't get to show it off this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anima's got the coolest overdrive. And I love Anima's introduction, too, in the tournament, where, like, you just see it, like, just with the eye and, like, the bleeding and the eye laser. It's like, pew! Pew! Like, that's, like, the coolest scene to me. All right. Yeah, this game has a lot of good cutscenes. We've had a very cutscene-heavy he episode this time around, I know. I think this is the first, like, really random battles that we've done. <laughs> Which is weird, because last episode, uh, it was, like, almost all random battles, and interspersed with just a few cutscenes, and that was it. But this segment's had a lot. A lot, a lot of cutscenes. It's very important. Um, storyline of the game. Oh, yeah, I gotta get the chest. Oh, I got it. Okay. Let's go ahead and save right here. Alright. I know it's getting close to time, but we're gonna go a little bit farther. Ah, dang it. We're done. We're done with this. Come on. No more fighting. No more fighting. Live and let live! There we go. All right, this is Wendigo. We've got Guado Guardians again, so we know the Guado Guardian strategy. We steal. We steal their potions. Wow, rude. The Wendigo is strong. He'll just, like, freaking destroy you. Field in potions, hell yeah. If you don't, like, they're so annoying. Oh, good job dodging. Good job. Alright, we're gonna... Let's do a... Protect on Orin. Alright, let's get Waka in here. So he can shatter them, hopefully. It. Alright, well, let's go ahead and use... Bushido. as much damage as I thought it would. Gosh, rude. Uh, let's see. On Kamari, you need to get an attack in there. And that's what's so annoying about this guy. Oh my god, do not get a game over. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, he's got a game over on this guy. Okay, come on, Yuna, revive some people. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh my god. I hate this fight, it's so annoying. Alright, 
Do I have... Do I have a Mega Phoenix? I have a Mega Phoenix. There we go. Revive everybody! Alright, let's not play around no more. Come on, kisses. <clears throat> Heal him. I probably need a power break the Wendigo, but I thought Waka would have his shattering would have happened for the two other guys by now. Really gotta take them out. Usually it's they would be dead by now because he would stone them and they would shatter. Okay, here we go. This night. Thank you for healing me. That was very nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Let's do one more Heavenly Strike to heal this guy. Then I will use my Overdrive on the Wendigo. Okay. No! It killed her! Oh, well, that's okay. At least I was able to take out the Water Guardians. You'll have the Cupcake Prize next stream. Oh my gosh, Jane, I'm so excited for you. <gasps> that's gonna be so cool. Alright. Let's... Phoenix down Kamari. Everybody's alive. And how do I want to do this? Come on, Orin. Let's do... Power break, so you can stop hitting so hard, maybe. Alright. Overdrive! Yeah, um, Erica, it's up to you. I mean, I know some people have subscriptions and they still want to redeem it. Um, but also that way when your subscription runs out, you would still be towards the top of the list, you know? He's probably immune to that. Let's do Fire Breath. What does the own command do thing again? Um, somebody type slash Landon, or sorry, exclamation Landon or exclamation Luna, and you will see. Um, also, exclamation secret gives you all the secret commands that people have set up. Oh, it must be exclamation lunar, not Luna. Okay, doing the power break definitely helped. Who hasn't gone yet? Has everybody done something? There you go, lunar. Yeah, so if you do the redeem, then you can tell me, you know, exclamation mochi. You can make it say whatever you want, and the bot will come in and, and say whatever you want it to do. So what Landon and Lunar have done so far is they put in little catchphrases. But yours can be, it can be whatever. It can be anything. Like if you want to promote something, it can be that. If you, um, if you want to, like, have some kind of reminder, it can be that. Anything, anything that you want. So long as it's not rude. <laughs> and I'll put it in. Let's do this. We're gonna be cheatery. Peace. Gotta kill him a little faster. You'll be doing that and not the cupcake? Yeah. <laughs> so I put both of those on there because those are things that I figured, you know, people that have been active would want. And so far, everyone that's gotten to the point, to that point, has chosen to do the, uh, to do that and, and not cupcake. Wouldn't even know what to make my chat command. Well, it's up to you. I mean, 
it's is whatever y'all want. Like, feel free to get creative with it. Oh no, I meant to switch out. I meant to switch out Titus for Pansy. Let's go ahead and keep going with Lulu. There we go. He's dying now. Oh, not what I'm trying to do. What's the cupcake? So the cupcake will give you a special role inside the Discord server so that you are listed right below the patrons and Twitch subscribers. So that way you can be at the top of the chat list if you want to with um, without it costing anything. V-type Jane will say stay soggy, that's gotta happen. Yeah, Jane, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. Yep, because in the Discord server, in the cafe, it's all food themed. So you can be a cupcake and it'll put you at the top. Because cupcakes are the best. Good job dodging, Lulu. At least she has good evasion. Haste is making this so much easier. Oh, you never have your statuses online? Oh, I see, I see. That would make sense. Yeah, if you never have your statuses online, then it doesn't, it's not going to do anything for you. I can't remember who it was. I think it might have been Thumper was saying, like, they had to do the cupcake because that was the only way they were ever going to be um, above Marina on the chat because she has been, like, crazy active in the cafe since... You okay, Lee? Sorry, my dog shook the desk a little bit. Um, she's been crazy active in the cafe since day one, so she's, like, at the very top of activity. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it will be really hard to be active enough to uh, beat Marina at this point. Oh, wasn't you? I can't remember. Somebody said that. I thought it was funny. Free make it exclamation brain. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that would be funny. But yeah, it's whatever y'all want. I mean, the commands are like for y'all to have fun with. You know what I mean? Just a little something like that you can add to the stream at any point. And I have definitely seen people, like, on their own, use other people's commands that are not theirs. Like, it was happening the other day. Uh, Landon wasn't here, but people were putting in the exclamation Landon command. What just happened? The floor fell out from under me, y'all. Praise be to Yevon. That's what I would have said if I was a follower of Yevon. We were all there and in one piece, even if I had a headache from wondering what was in store for us next. Or from the fall. All right, well, it's time, y'all. So we're going to save. We're going to save here, and we're going to go do some poke. Photoshop. Right. Let's clear the chat because it is in the way as always. All right, guys, time to do some more Pokemon memes. Yep. <laughs> I love that game. It's so good. All right. So this time we are going to do some generation 
What is this? Seven. And I don't, we can't use V Coon for that one, unfortunately. So, <laughs> what we're actually going to do first is do a little catch up from last time. There was one, one that I missed, um, a fave, a fave ice type that uh, y'all saw pop up, but I didn't fill it in because I like to put this one in my favorite slot. So Glaceon right there. And let's read about him. Where did the time go? I know, Katie, it's already been two hours. Can you believe it? This is Glaceon, of course. I love to put the evolutions in that fave slot, so that's where that goes. There we go. As a protective technique, it can completely freeze its fur to make its hairs stand like needles. By controlling its body heat, it can freeze the atmosphere around it to make a diamond dust flurry, much like kisses can do. It causes small ice crystals to form by lowering the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere. So that's what I like to put in my fave ice type, Glaceon, right there. All right. Trying to pull up a list of the Gen 8 Pokemon so we can, like, look at them. I don't really like any of the lists that I've used before. I've got one of those linked, but I'm like, ugh. I think we'll just do it without looking at the list. I mean, y'all know. It was the latest generation of Pokemon. Y'all know which ones are in there. All right, so let's actually do my favorite ice type. My favorite ice type for Gen 8 is Frost Moth, right here. The Ice Moth. Icy scales fall from its wings like snow as it flies over fields and mountains. The temperature of its wings is less than negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. It shows no mercy to any who desecrate fields and mountains. It will fly around in its icy wings, causing a blizzard to chase offenders away. So this is our first bingo! Y'all, we've got a whole row. We've got all the ice types. First bingo since we started doing this meme. Oh, okay, okay, Mochi. We're going to go do it right now. Do you want it to be exclamation Mochi? Okay, here we go. Let me pull this over to my other screen. I'm going to go do this right now. Yes, okay, okay, okay. It's coming. It's coming soon. Wait for it. I gotta log in. <laughs> I gotta log in. Okay. Um, commands. We're gonna add a command. Exclamation mochi. Okay, and then I gotta add you to the secrets so people can know. Love that you're doing a Sailor Moon command. Okay. Okay, here we go. Debut. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. And if you guys ever want to know any time, here's all the secret commands. You can always remember what they are. This has inspired me to plan it out. Oh, I'm so glad, Jane. <laughs> all right. So let's do the fire type. For Gen 8 next, y'all probably know what this is because I'm so predictable. Like, just look at the fire types. Look what I have so far. What do y'all think is going to go here, right? <laughs> it's probably very obvious. It is. Score bunny. Score bunny. A warm up of running around gets fire energy coursing through this Pokemon's body. Once that happens, it's ready to fight at full power. It has special pads on the back of its feet and one on its nose. Once it's rearing to fight, these pads radiate tremendous heat. That's what we're going to put in the fire slot. Right there. All right, next one we are going to look at is my favorite ghost type for this generation. All right. There we go. Favorite ghost type? Sinistee. It is a ghost teacup. 
All right. This Pokemon is said to have been born when a lonely spirit possesses a cold leftover cup of tea. So don't let your tea get cold. It might turn into a ghost. The teacup in which this Pokemon makes its home is a famous piece of antique tableware. Many forgeries are in circulation. So there are fake ones out there too. This is crazy to me. I think this is like the coolest idea for Pokemon. People complain about like non-animal Pokemons, but then you get cool ideas like this, like a ghost teacup. And here's another bingo, all of our ghost types filled in. All right. And last but not least, we are going to look at my favorite normal type for this generation, which I'm gonna be a basic bitch. And it's Wooloo. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's favorite everyone's favorite all right its curly fleece is such an effective cushion that this pokemon could fall off of a cliff and stand right back up at the bottom unharmed if its fleece grows too long wooloo won't be able to move cloth made with the wool of this pokemon is surprisingly strong the wooloo is strong there we go Got another normal type in there. All right, so that's how far we are on the... Oh, y'all can't see it. Can't see it because the chat box is... Fix that. Okay. Go away again, chat. There we go. Wooloo. Wooloo. Now you can see it. Okay. All right, so that's the Pokemon for this time. We'll do five more next time. All right. Let's switch it over to... Webcam only. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. That's the end of the stream. Thank you so much for the, the subscriptions today. I really appreciate you guys. Um, Kendra, Katie, Erica, if there's anyone I missed, I'm sorry. Um, thank you, Erica, for the raid. Um, all right. Where you can find me? You can find me right here on Twitch. We have uh, Artistic License, which is my solo stream that I do on Thursdays. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will, Jane. I will hydrate and rest up. Um, and this is... Oh, another one. And this is my um, variety stream. We do a bunch of stuff right now. We're mostly playing Final Fantasy X. However, next week we're going to take a Final Fantasy X break. And we are going to do... <laughs> you know what? No, it's not. It's not. But it can be. We can make it gay. <laughs> Um, we're gonna do another manicure stream next week, all right? So I know it's been a long time since I did a manicure stream. We're gonna do another one. I am gonna teach you guys how to cheat at free painting on your nails. How to do it if you can't paint like myself, who cannot paint. <laughs> we can, we can make that. We can make that if you want to, if you want to. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing next week. Also, uh, the other time that I stream is on Saturdays, noon to two. That is with Landon, sometimes a guest. Um, and next week, Landon and I are going to be talking about our top writing tips. So, to, well, tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. In my brain, because I'm streaming, it's Thursday. So tomorrow, we're going to be talking about our top writing tips. So that you can join us at noon tomorrow, not Saturday, because it's Friday. <laughs> it's got me all messed up not streaming yesterday, y'all. It's got me all messed up. Um, I also have my YouTube show, Spare Room. That's my scripted role play help show, which goes up at 2 p.m. on Wednesdays. And, you know, then there's all the socials. I'll pop it in the chat. And I know I didn't post any on TikTok this week. That's because this week was crazy. If you want to know how crazy this week and the end of last week was, go watch last week's VOD. Uh, go watch last week's stream VOD. I'll, you know, I'll tell you all about, like, all the craziness that went down. <laughs> I am too, Erica. It was so nice getting that raid. So it kind of worked out, right? It kind of worked out. <laughs> um, and uh, and then Twitter. Twitter is the other social that I use. My social medias are mostly advertisements, but I do post other stuff from time to time as well. So if you like hot takes, Twitter. If you like silly stuff, TikTok. That's all you need to know, whichever one. And then, of course, there's our Discord server. That is Landon and I's Role Play Help Discord server. If you're interested in giving or getting role play help you're welcome to join up there all of the stuff that references discord uh with the connections and in the channel points and all that stuff it's referencing that discord the cafe all right uh that's it that's all guys thank you so much for joining me i will see you tomorrow for inner stage window and if i don't see you then then uh next week next thursday for how to cheat at free painting on your nails okay all right bye guys see you later
Oh, wait. I lied. We have to raid somebody. We have to raid somebody. I almost closed the stream without finding a raid. Ah. Oh. Erica raided me. I cannot not pass this on. Almost. Let's find someone to raid. And then we will toodles. Oh my gosh. So many people. So many people are going right now. Okay. I see a couple that y'all might want to watch. Do y'all want to go play some Jackbox? Jed um, from the Wolf Den is playing Jackbox right now. And I bet they have slots open. They usually do. Do y'all want to go play some Jackbox? Or, or do y'all want to like watch something? Because I see some people doing Tabletop Simulator and Smite as well. But Jackbox is interactive. So if we want that, we can do the Jackbox. But otherwise, I'll choose one of these other guys that has a few less people watching. What do you think? Jackbox or something else? Jackbox or something else, guys. Okay. I don't see a preference. So we're going to raid into, into Jed doing Jackbox. Okay, there we go. Now, bye guys. See y'all tomorrow. See you next week. Have fun with Jackbox. I will see y'all later. Bye.